हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक सो एवरी ईयर डीएसटी राजस्थान लॉन्च एन इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बीएससी एंड एमएससी सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट इट इज द होम पेज ऑफ डीएसटी दैट इज डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ राजस्थान एंड व्हेन यू स्क्रोल डाउन दिस पेज यू कैन सी द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड कॉर्नर इज द लेटेस्ट ऑर्डर सो इन द लेटेस्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट karya guidelines and format 2023 is given so this is the internship that dst offers for students registered in the university or colleges of rajasthan specially only at the scale of rajasthan so students who are from rajasthan and who are pursuing their graduation and post graduation are eligible to apply for this internship so here if we click on this website this link there is a brochure given so let me introduce you what is karya karya is knowledge augmentation through research in young aspirants it means that if you have theoretical knowledge and you want to pursue that knowledge into practical terms so this internship best suitable for you guys so last date of internship is 5th may 2023 as you can see that this internships has launched on 17 April twenty twenty three. So you have given efficient time to fill the application form and to register for this internship. So globally, in basic sciences, this is a very known and very very much clear format of karya is given. As you scroll down, this I am talking about this. So this is the application form of karya program. so this is uh, same as you can apply for any other form of application or any other form of admission so first we talk about the application format and then we talk about what actually karya is because this is the uh, simplest means how you can apply for any program so this there name of the student father's name mother's name date of birth this is all you have to write the personal information and attach your passport size photos photo so this is the must you can do this is all the mandatory format then you have to write your class board university percentage and divisions and at the end you have to write a write up of nearly around 250 words and specific area of interest you wish to apply during this internship and then lastly you have to send this prescribed format by clicking the photo and converting into pdf to the karya dst rajasthan 2023 at the rate gmail.com so this is the procedure a simplest procedure just you have to fill up the form attach your mark sheet and date of birth certificate for validation and then you just have to email and it is mandatory that you have registered through online mode because no offline copies are there so lastly you just have to declare that you are the you are eligible candidate and you have mentioned the degrees and validated all of them by typing the date and place and your signature but here one more thing is there you have to write the references references that if you have work done in some lab or you have your teachers your mentors like a uh, subject teacher so you can write down their name with their uh, affiliation university phone number and email because at the time of interview or at the time of selection maybe dst rajasthan will reach to your referees and know about yourself so this is the mandatory format now back to our dst karya fellowship so here karya is providing internship opportunities especially research internship opportunities in scientific background as this was started a few years ago and now it is accelerated on a very well platforms so here as you can see that the institutes institutes are given and institutes these are dbt iit csir dst icers and icmrs so well known organization and their institutes are given after that eligibility criteria eligibility criteria is i have told that bs or bsc second and third years msc first year 
MSc if you are in integrated course or dual degree course. So here your years and specification are mentioned. So you guys have to apply for the internship and you will be allowed for a period of two months. And if and if you wish to uh, wish to reside at that place also they will provide your ta da and accommodations as well and they will provide a fellowship that you are visiting that lab and you are working there then you have earned that fellowship amount and it is of 28000 for two months 14 and 14 so this is all about dst karya but you have to go through the selection criteria and what is the selection criteria First, academic record. If you have pursued a percentage of 75 or above, 80 or above, 90 or above, so you are mostly or more preferential around your students against your competitors. Then plan of work. Plan of work is similar that you have to write down into 50 or 300 words what you want to do. And then availability of seat or position at institutes. Like if you are pursuing in a college in Rajasthan and suddenly you want to move to IIT, CSIR. So this is a great opportunity for you all. But it depends on the availability of seats. If the institute allow more than two or more than three or more than five, so it is dependent upon the institutes how many students will be departed there. Selection procedure is clear and simple. You have to fill all the documents, attest all the documents and mail to this website. Also, they have mentioned that no hard copy will be entertained. And the last date is 5 5 23. So, and then fellowship. Now, I have talked about the fellowship. So, fellowship you will be providing by the DST Rajasthan itself. And in terms of after first four weeks, means after one month when you report your supervisor, to the desired institute and then he or she declare that yes you have done work and validated your work through the through your thesis so then you send your thesis via mail or online portal to dst and then after a period of time they will release your fellowship so you don't have to worry about the fellowship release of fellowship is simple and clear just you have to send the report report of first four weeks like first month and then here also written, if any student leave this Karya program in between the duration of eight weeks without consent of supervisor, he or she will not be entitled for fellowship and release. Yes. So this is compulsory. You have to clear all your doubts against the fellowship. You have to be there for the two month program. After that, you can achieve your fellowship amount. So this is the application form we have talked earlier. Now, one more thing is there that you have to submit the letter of recommendation as you have uh, on the application portal as you have registered and then you have format this. So, in this you have to write the referees details. So, this is a letter of recommendation from your referees. Name, name of teacher, position, sir, you have to just fill and then you have to fill this table from your supervisor or for, from your subject teacher in your institutions ki how much your concern is there how much you are eligible or how much you are sincere toward the research program so you have to fill from your teachers then strong qualities applicant weakness just teachers or your guide or your referees will write, write in these columns and then sign and then if they wish to make more comments on the application for better result or for better selection here also a column given so as you can see that leniency is given to students and this career program i'll tell you is the most beneficial and most honest program of dst so you must visit the website you must download this format and then you just have to take your pen on and write on the paper and click and send it to the dst career and maybe you get selected. So there are more chances that you get, you might get selected for this program. Last, 
yes you have to do a letter from head or principal director from your college or institution and any uh, subjects you are studying like physics mathematics botany chemistry zoology so you have to tick on the subjects you are studying your name of college and date and sign so this is all about the karya program fellowship as i was an alumni of this fellowship i have a uh, privilege to go to icer and tata consultancy and inias group so this is the best and the best atmosphere you can get here while searching researching and then maybe it will helpful in your higher education if you wish to pursue phd so this makes a great sense to your academic career so i wish you liked it and you want to apply and if you want to apply and you are you are not having any clue how to apply so just comment below the video like the video we will reach up to you how to write research proposal or how to apply for this so thank you so much and all the best do must visit the website do must share and do must apply so thank you